Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, you're gonna have to excuse me if I sound like crap because I feel like crap. Um, I have a cold right now and it's like, it's rough y'all. But I got a really exciting package in the mail. Um, some of you guys, if you like BJD content on YouTube, you may be familiar with Rosie from Teeny Tinkers. Um, she has two YouTube channels. I'm gonna link her website and her Instagram down in the description box. She has all types of videos. So she has like instructional videos, like she does like 3D sculpting videos. She does traditional sculpting videos. Um, she does like unboxings of BJDs. She does like towel bow hauls, like all sorts of things. Anything kind of related to BJDs, she has it on her channel. I particularly really like her chit chatty like BJD videos. Like she has a series on her channel called like Coffee and Dollies that I really like. She recently had a stock sale and I really, really, really wanted to buy a doll from it. Unfortunately, lately, I just haven't had the disposable income to purchase BJDs or like really put like tons of money into my hobbies because it's just, I've just had like life stuff come up that I've had to spend money on. Um, and I know that I just recently unboxed Skyland Doll's Bogun and then Delicioso's Misha, but I hopped on those pre-orders like seven months ago. So that was like a while ago. They just like recently or sort of recently came in. But yeah, so she had a stock sale. I wanted to buy something, but I just like couldn't. So I was kind of like bummed about that. But then Rosie contacted me and she was like, hey, would you like to customize one of my BJDs? Um, and I said, duh, <laughs> like of course I would because I was really wanting one. And then that like came and it came around my birthday. So like this actually came around my birthday. My birthday was the 22nd of July and it is, what day is it? It's the 31st of July. So I was like, oh my God, best birthday gift ever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be customizing one of her BJDs. She has so many different sculpts of BJDs, like honest to God, I really, like people who get stuff done, like I feel like she gets stuff done. She has so many scopes of BJDs and she just like seems super productive and honestly like jealous, like cannot relate. <laughs> like I try to be productive, but like some people I'm like, where do you find the time? I just don't understand. Um, so I like a lot of her BJDs. Like she has like a sculpt for everything I feel like. And this is actually a soda pop, which is, I think one of her earlier BJDs, but like, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure. Um, I think her first BJD were the Hollows, and then this came shortly after that. So let's just like open this box, okay? So this is the box that came in. Hey, um, this doll is an MSD, if y'all don't know. And she's tan, I don't have many tan dolls, because again, your girl is like broke a lot of time. I mean, a lot of times, even when I hop on a pre-order, I'm like slightly broke and the tan shades always cost more money. So like, I want tan dolls. I just don't typically have the extra like $40 to throw down on a tan doll. So this is a tan doll, so exciting. Um, I think that this retails for $525, I think. I think it's pretty standard-ish for like an MSD artist doll, I think. Like I feel like they're like around like $500 plus range. So, yeah, um, I don't know if she, does she have a pre-order, let's see, I don't know if she has a pre-order going on right now, I feel like she has them, like, so frequently, so, like, if you want one, there's probably going to be the opportunity to get one at some point soon, uh, let me see, okay, so I think she just got done a pre-order, um, of Clover and Poppy, yeah, so she kind of, like, just finished a pre-order last month, of Clover and Poppy, who are also very cute. Her style is very stylized, that's like repetitive, but I really like stylized BJDs. Um, I like seeing anybody who has their own style because I just think it's it's really cool, you know? Uh, I think it, a lot. some people find like developing a style hard, so when you see someone who just like has one, I think it's commendable. But let's open this, because right, I'm just going to keep rambling. Packaging. I don't believe you can see the address. If you can, I'll just like slap up. I don't know, like a poop emoji on it or something. Just my knife. I feel like some people are like, don't use knives to open things, but you know what? I feel like I'm pretty skilled with a knife. That sounds really creepy, but like, I've never had an issue in the past. And, um, I feel like I'm not gonna have an issue today. Watch me like stab myself. That would be really unfortunate. Eat a box. <laughs> hey, little card. Okay, I hope you have fun customizing Soda Pop. I can't wait to see what you do. I can't wait to see what I do. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, 
But yes, again, thank you Rosie for sending me this. I love customizing, I'm actually literally customizing a BJG right now, which should be going up soon. So we're gonna be customizing another BJG. <laughs> which I feel like, you know what, we need to do because I have a pile of them in my closet that need to be customized. So it comes with this little like packaging. Cool. Um, it comes in little packing peanuts. We love to see it. And the bag, ooh, that bag looks nice, hold on. Let's get the bag out. Okay. Is there anything else in here? I just want to make sure like I'm not missing a COA or anything. Lord have mercy. So this is the bag. And that is her little like logo. Oh, that's so cute. Bruh, it says Teeny Tinkers and it's like printed on some fabric. So cute. I love these little carrying bags because honestly, I don't know, I just feel like they're useful. Um, and it's a little bit... It's a little bit easier for me, I guess, than like if it's in a box, because I put, I store all my BJGs in a closet, which isn't the funnest way to store them, but I get really anal about them yellowing. So, let's open this. <gasps> Hello! Oh my god, I feel like, <gasps> wow. I feel like she's like really tall. Am I crazy? Maybe it's just because her feet are kind of big. Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, hold on. So this is, let's get all these little like things out. Okay, so is this a sticker? Yo, I wish I was a sticker beach. Cause like, I have so many stickers and they're so cute, but I don't put them on anything. Like I wish I was one of those people who, like, put stickers on laptops and stuff, but I'm just not. I need to like find something. Maybe I'll put it on like my Ikea drawers or, I said like my sewing my sewing machine that I literally never used last time, but that feels like a waste because I never use my sewing machine. But look at this cute little sticker. Is this soda pop? Is it? Okay, it literally is a soda pop on her shirt. I'm an idiot, okay. But here she is. So cute. That is like a little soda pop sticker. Adorable, honest to God. Um, and then we have, this is the certificate of authenticity. So here's a little... That's actually such a cute little like painting or drawing or whatever. So cute, oh my God, wait. Look, so cute. Wow, and she had some of these. So this is, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Is it Soleil? Oh, kill me. She had, or is it Luna? I'm not sure off the top of my head. She had these where they're like, cause like if you look, it has like the little pink face and then the little like blue hands and stuff. She had some of these like Frankenstein-y sort of BJDs on sale for her stock sale. And they were really cute. So doll sculpt, soda pop, and has her little signature on it. And um, it's in the color Jones, which is like the tan shade. And then this is a little card. Thank you for supporting small BJD artist. Um, sculpting is one of my truest passions. And I feel like you can really tell that because I feel like she is like constantly sculpting. Like, again, aspirations. Um, like I aspire to be that way. I, I aspire to learn how to like 3D sculpt. It seems like such a thing though. Okay, so what is this? Um, there's like a little care guide if you guys are new to BJDs, which I think is really helpful. Um, I'm not really new to BJDs, but I could see this being helpful for a beginner. Let's look at the doll. Okay, twist her little feet. Wow. I feel like she is definitely gonna stand. These feet are so big. I mean that in the best way. I love a doll that can stand. And I've mentioned this in videos before, but I love this like style of knee where it's very like, I don't know. There's not really anything there. It's just like kind of smooth. I just really like this style of knee. So it seems like she has like a, yeah, she has like a locking mechanism in there so that you can hold. Oh, what is this? Oh no. A finger broke off. <gasps> oh no. I mean, I can definitely glue this back on. That is sad, but it's okay. We'll put this back on. I need to put this somewhere safe. I cannot, this is like the tiniest little finger. It's a little pinky. Okay, we'll put you somewhere. Okay, you're going over here for now. I'm not gonna lose that. Okay, so 
that's unfortunate, but um, I can just glue it back on. It's not a huge deal. So that's great, actually. Like it's locking very easily. It's easy to control. Um, we're getting some motion. Okay, there's that. The hand. Let me get a good look at her face. Okay, this is gonna sound so weird, um, but I really like her under eye bags. <laughs> um, like I really do, I don't know, I like that. If you guys are familiar with my repaints, I feel like I like some like unconventional things <laughs> for like beauty, but um, I always like shade my dolls with like some little under eye bag emphasis and she has little under eye bags and I like them. That's cute. <sighs> she also has one of these joints. I like these little like ball joints. On specifically like underneath the boobs I just like it I don't know stylistically this is a very nice tan too that's pretty good movement bro I'm gonna have to give her her pinky back it just looks painful honestly we're gonna have to give her that pinky back soon I think super soon I like her nose too oh my god relatable up to her nose she's a little up to her nose I love that and her mouth, little ears. Oh, that's interesting. Are the ears, are they different? Am I going insane? <laughs> are they different? They're different on either side. That's so interesting. Wait, there's, <laughs> I'm sorry. There's extra hands in here. That was, I was so weirded out. I was like, what the hell are these? Okay. There's extra hands inside her head. I don't know why I thought the, that was so strange. That like, I was like, what the fuck? Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, are these the same hands? Hold on. Okay, these are literally the same hands. Okay, well, um, I mean, I'm still probably gonna glue this one back on. But that's cool. I love magnetic hands. Um, she does not have magnetic feet, but that's okay. Um, I actually just, I'm painting a doll zone doll right now. It is doll zone, right? I think it's doll zone. <laughs> I get doll zone and doll chateau confused. I don't know why. But, um, her hands were really hard. Like, it was really hard to put her clothes on because her hands were just really hard to take off. So I really like magnetic hands. I like the expression of the hands. Is it zooming? Like, it just has a very nice kind of like, you know, it's not, it's relaxed, but it's not completely relaxed, so it looks like she can like, talk to you, give you some expressive hand motions. So this one has a head cap. I think her dolls, a lot of her dolls now have face plates. Um, I think, like I think the Celestial Squad I might be completely wrong, and if I am, I will just edit this out. I think the Celestial Squad has face plates, but uh, yeah, her little feet. She has quite a lot of movement in her hands and stuff, like to her face, like that. I mean, they're literally on her face. She is covering her face, so that's cool. Some good movement there. I think the head has like nice movement too. All right, let's see how she stands. She's also not, like she came pretty, I mean, she's well strung from what I can see. Um, which, okay, I <laughs> literally, okay, like, okay, let's put her up a little bit. That was so easy. That was like ridiculous. Like I literally just like plop and she is standing. Okay, great, awesome. I'm assuming she has so much balance because she has really big feet. Also, weird note, like, this might sound creepy, but her feet are sculpted really well. Like, hello, look at these like veins and stuff. Hold on, can you see? Wait, and we can zoom in. I'm zooming in on my sweater, because of course it is. What's her butt look like? <gasps> We love a butt dimple. Hold on, let me move this over. Oh my god, we love a butt dimple. Like, honestly. Or at least I love a butt dimple. 
this is so nice. Her face is so cute. Oh my god, I'm so excited to like paint her. Ah. She has like boobies, but like they're like not huge boobies, which um I like. I mean honestly I like I think I like all boobs on dolls. But you know, she's a she's definitely a pear queen. We love to see it. She's got like itty bitty little shoulders and a big old butt. And I feel like she's pretty tall. Like these are some long legs. <laughs> It's interesting when you're seeing a doll in person because prior to getting her, obviously all I had was like my assumptions in my head. And I don't know why I assume this, but I figured she would be like a similar scale or size to my Frapsilla um, Loopy. Maybe honest to God, because they're both like pear, very pear. Like, I don't know. Like I literally, like that's just how my brain related the two of them. But this doll is like not at all. Like I feel like, She's quite a bit bigger, and her head is quite a bit bigger than um, my Loopy. I like my Loopy's small head. I also like this doll's big head. I'm very open to like head size and dolls. <laughs> like I feel like my collection is literally just whatever I think looks interesting and cool. So like they do not all look like they live in the same world, but <laughs> it is a okay. Anyway, y'all, um, I'm gonna link Rosie or Teeny Tinkers down in the description box um, if you guys want to get some of her dolls. Again, I feel like she has like pre-orders and stuff all the time. So I'm sure at least some sort of a sculpt is gonna be available soon. Um, but yeah, check out her Instagram, check out her YouTube channels, check out her website, check out all the stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions about this doll, feel free to leave that down in the comments. If you guys have one of Teeny Tinker's dolls, definitely let me know down in the comments as well because I wanna know. If you guys have a soda pop, let me know. So cute, I love it. I'm so excited to paint her, like honest to God. And she should be coming up very, very soon, so. Yeah, like this video if you like this video. Subscribe, makes me happy, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Bye.